What's going on YouTube? Having trouble with your setups or you don't know what a setup is? Then I highly recommend you watch this video. This video is my introduction to setups. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm H2K. Let's get right into it. H2K. Rocket League is a beautiful game. What's even more beautiful is the infinite amount of ways to score goals. I mean, there's just so many ways you can score. Flip reset. Richie pounces to itself. He gets Flip it. reset. Can he do it? Double tap. Are you kidding me, Devo? Flip reset double taps. T Grave back down. K Dog pops it to himself. Flip reset. Going Whoa. for it. And oh my K Dog! He can't be stopped. 360 wave dash flicks. I mean, possibilities are endless, but if you don't know how to set yourself up, you're never gonna get there. Welcome to my introduction to setups. Before you run, you gotta walk. Let's get right into this and let me show you guys something that you might not even know. A way to practice that'll open up a whole new world to practicing your mechanics. Let's see if you guys know this trick. I already know it, wait till the end. I'm sure you're gonna find out things that you never knew before. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Go to play, create a private match. Create that private match. Go to mutator settings, put the match unlimited, and this is where the excitement happens. You're gonna go to game speed. Put that on slow-mo. Only mutators I have are unlimited and slow-mo. Let's get right into this private match. As you can see, the gameplay is extremely slow, which gives me the time to talk about setups, yeah. Now obviously, this lets you understand that every time you touch the ball, it's super important. Going into that slow-mo mode, it's gonna show you guys that every single touch you do is super important. Do that slow-mo exercise five minutes a day before you start playing, I guarantee you that it's definitely gonna help your rank and your mechanics are gonna be awesome as well. When you're done playing that slow-mo mode, the game mode's gonna feel extremely fast. Don't worry about it, within 10 minutes you'll be back on top, but you'll have way more knowledge of your shitty ball touches. Basically learning how to set up is learning how to control the ball exactly how you want. Don't touch it too hard, don't touch it too soft. I mean, you're trying to air dribble. Let's see if we can get this. Oh man. Playing in slow-mo mode is gonna make you realize that every time you touch the ball, you have an impact on where it goes. So you know where it goes, you can set yourself up. Setups are about specific scenarios, all right? All right, we all knew about the slow-mo mode, H2K. Tell us something we don't know. All right, but every time I go for an air dribble, this happens. I got it, I got it. Ah, oh, man, close, huh? All right, so you wanna go from having the amount of control you had to the amount of control I have? You wanna, you wanna know how to get to this? Oh, that was a crappy slow double tap. But while I was explaining, something cool happened. So we're gonna put it in. So depending on what kind of setups you guys are trying to get, if you guys are trying to get air dribble setups, I've been only showing you guys air dribble setups since I started playing. How to get that good air control, I've talked about it before. I'll talk about it again, no problem. Go to extras, if you're on PC, there's some workshops you guys can use. If we're talking about air dribbling, let's go into Lethemir's Rings map. If I'm talking about double taps and I'm talking about parkour map, is uh, more for double taps, right? So reads, then parkour map. I'll explain later, but if you want to get good at flying or air dribbles, let's just put it on... All right, whatever, we'll just go normal mode because I'm going to be explaining stuff and talking, so I'm going to make a lot of mistakes, I'm guessing. But anyways, so doing Lethemir's Rings map is going to give you a whole bunch of things. For one thing, boost altitude control, all right? When I'm talking about boost altitude control, I'm talking about maintaining the height that you want. So if I'm trying to get to the ball and I'm trying to control my speed, I'm going to have to control my altitude and the way that I move my car, right? Do these workshops and test yourself to the limits. All right, so what is that? Lathomir's rings map gonna do for you it's gonna give you the opportunity to have more control of the ball it's gonna give you the opportunity to get to the ball faster look at all that aerial control and look at all those adjustments I'm doing when I'm flying towards the ball do that rings map and your air dribbling is just automatically gonna get better when I started playing these rings map 
I wasn't really uh, air rolling the whole time. But I did it so much that I ended up learning how to air roll constantly and have full 360 degree control with my air roll. I mean, I can literally hold this air roll button the whole time. And pay attention, huh? Am I letting it go? I'll let it go sometimes for altitude control and for quick adjustments, like here. See what I just did? This means that my aerial control, while I'm doing this, is extremely hard to read. When my opponents see me doing this, they're wondering, man, does this guy have control or does he not have control? Muscle memory is a huge part of Rocket League. Holy crap, this part here was insanely hard. While I was talking too, I went, my brain just went muscle memory mode. And we're gonna talk about muscle memory mode. If we're talking about muscle memory, we're talking about how easy it is for you to make quick decisions. Every time you go for a setup, it's not gonna be perfect. And sometimes you have to adapt. Check out this play here. Notice how I try to get that flip reset. I pop underneath the ball. I hold that air roll into position and I actually get the goal. That's not what I wanted to do, but it worked out. What you're basically telling us H2K is that there's no specific way to set up a ball. Exactly. You have to combine every single mechanic you know to get the setup you want. Having a good setup is about knowing every mechanic to get to the ball to do what you want to do. All right, let's keep talking about those setups. For setups for double taps, we have a totally different training that we're gonna do. We're gonna go into extras, workshop, parkour map. If you wanna get good at those double taps, right? And 1.18 is the one I want you to focus on for double taps. If I'm talking double taps specifically. Double taps mean you gotta imagine the ball. See, right now it's no gravity, which means everything that I do with my car is like all floaty and stuff, right? This exercise here, is gonna give you an insane amount of control for those double taps. If you're trying to read those double taps, you gotta get good at this exercise. Getting good at this exercise is gonna make you just more aware that twisting and turning your car is very important. All right, so that parkour map is gonna open up a whole bunch of doors to different kind of double taps. You'll be able to adapt just like I'm doing here to get those awesome double taps. If you can adapt, you can score the double taps. If you can't adapt and you can't recover from your shitty touches, you're not gonna get that double tap. Learn those double taps. And then add in some freestyles if you wanna learn to be a freestyler. Or make it hard for you to understand how your car is being positioned, right? This parkour map is gonna let you guys take advantage of the situations you have and you'll be able to adapt faster. Not every play is gonna go how you want it to go. Don't forget that. Adapting to the play means having the mechanics to get where you wanna go as fast as possible. Opportunities are gonna happen. Make sure you have that boost. Once you can do it, do it. Don't be scared to try new things. Notice how I kinda do like this catch air roll shot right here. That's from doing all this parkour map. I can absorb the ball with my air rolls. Not everyone can do that, but you gotta practice it. Yeah, baby. Control your car, right? Anybody who's watched Kefbert's tutorials knows that this level is insane for double tap car control or for aerial control in general, right? And again, this exercise, five minutes a day, is gonna help you with your air dribbles and your double taps. Don't forget that. So how about ground to air dribble setups? How do we do that? Well, it's all about that first touch. If you don't get the first touch, don't even try to continue your air dribble setup. If you miss your first touch, adapt and look at your other options, right? So for ground to air, it's all about maintaining ball speed and then air dribbling the ball in the net. All right, for ground control, you're gonna need a totally different workshop. Check out this play right here and see how I use my creativity to get around my opponents. A passing play in the end makes it even more exciting. Don't be selfish, pass the ball. Use your creativity and use your mechanics to get around your opponents. Don't be scared to try new things. Rocket League is a never ending game. Just play it the way it's supposed to be played. For flicks, depending on what flick you wanna get, for backflip flicks, leave it on the spoiler. For front flip standard, leave it on the hood, depending on how, how much height you want. If you want more height, leave it a little bit more back, right? Like that. If you want to put the diagonal clip in, leave it on the corner of your hood. If 
you're trying to get the other diagonal, just leave it on the other corner, right? If you're trying to get the Sathu, holy crap, I don't know what that was, but it worked. Sathu is more like a side flip kind of thing. All right, for ground setups, we're gonna go into workshops and you're gonna do dribbling to overhaul. If you wanna learn how to set yourself up for flicks, this workshop's pretty simple. Make sure you get to the net. Don't let the ball touch the ground. Have fun with it. And I swear to God, this here is how I got my ground control to the next level. It's just insane. I always push myself to the limits. I try to hit the net with those far side flicks, right? I don't do this map uh, as much anymore, but I did go through a phase where I would do this map half an hour a day before I started playing. And I swear to God, I couldn't even get past level three or four because I didn't even know that my dribbling was an issue. I had no idea. Nice. Doing the dribble to overhaul training pack is gonna open up a whole bunch of doors to do different kind of flicks. You're gonna get the opportunity to learn all the flicks you want. You just gotta do it five minutes a day before you start playing. Again, I know it's a lot, but trust me, it's totally worth it. You're gonna start pulling off shots like this in your ranked gameplay. Just, you're just doing the ultimate the ultimate training pack for setups. I mean, it's just crazy uh, how this really upgrades your mechanics. I mean, if you want to get better at your mechanics and setups, you just got to do this. Let's let this bounce. Oh, I just love this dribbling to overhaul. I mean, this really the uh, the completion guide you need to get your setups that you want. Squishy actually uses the board, pounces it in like that. Is that in? Yeah, <laughs> nice. That's what Squishy did, right? So, I mean, have fun with this dribbling to overhaul. I mean, this is all about getting that good ground control. If you can, if you feel like it's too easy, make it hard. Air dribble across everything. Delayed air dribble. Look at that. I was gonna pop into it. I was gonna pop into that pole, and I delayed it. Push yourself to the limit. And if you have to air dribble across a little hole or something, look at that. Be creative. All right, so you're basically telling us we need to practice for thousands of hours to get better at our setups? Exactly. All right, so combining those two training packs, you'll achieve exactly what you're trying to do to get that perfect setup. Combine Dribble 2 Overhaul and the Parkour Map. Go in 1.18 and you'll know exactly what to do. If you guys do those exercises five minutes a day, I guarantee you that your mechanics will go up. Doing stuff like this isn't hard. You just need to practice. Anyways, I'm H2K. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.